other body combo man. He does pain also, so... Oh, I'll be your body combo man. It's <laughs> to see how much it is for you to do a total restoration and i'm like oh. he's like why'd you talk like that that's how that's how he, that's how they talk he was like, what oh okay so you, wait a you, second you can yeah you could do that to us of course you can. okay and do, we, do your best me hey it's me javier I can't fucking do that. <laughs> clip that come on clip that shit I no. can, you, you, you can do it i can do it Welcome to the Cult of the Funky Panther. We are coming at you from the city of Fort Worth, located in the heart of Texas. By listening to us, you have now entered a legally binding agreement to join the Cult of the Funky Panther. You will have to make a monthly pilgrimage to the liquor store and deliver one bottle of your choosing to the Panther Den. This pilgrimage must take place either on the 1st or 15th of the month. Failure to do so means you are in breach of contract and you must then give up your firstborn child to the Order of the Panther where they will be taught basic combat skills and various life lessons. Now on with the show. Get in here. We got to start the show. We got to start the show. And welcome to the Funky Panther. Coming to you from Fort Worth, Texas, we have got a show for you here on episode 155. Hooray! 155! Hooray! Yeah, so uh, don't even know what we're going to be talking about, but we'll figure it out. So uh, sit back, relax, enjoy. Let's get into it. I'm Chad. I'm Javier. I'm Tim. And we are the, the Funky, Funky Panther! I think we know exactly what we're going to be talking about, because I told you exactly what we're going to be talking you about. You gave me a real brief list, and I couldn't tell you two of the things that you mentioned. It's like what they say in Varsity Blues, penis, 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 vagina, vagina, vagina. Oh, yeah, I remember that. It's a good movie. It's a classic. Ten. Ten. Give it a fucking I, ten. I give it a ten. Ten, ten. Is that a is that a World Series hat? I didn't even see. It is a World Series hat. Thank you for noticing. Does it say World Series or it World says Series, World Series champion? There you go. Yeah. So here's the deal. I bought a hat. Yeah. The World Series. World Series. Yeah. And then the very next day we won. God <laughs> so I bought the exact same hat. <laughs> World Series champions. Well, I'll tell you what. Um, shout out to the Texas Rangers. A world the world champion Texas Rangers. Yeah. Um, but man, it was really hard to find merch because I I didn't want the shirts. Maybe I'll have to get a shirt. Be just I didn't want any of the shirts. But um, the hat, I, I needed to get the one that said World Series Now, champion. a jersey? If I can get a jersey with a World World Series yeah. champ on there? Yeah. Uh, good luck if you can find them. I'm sure they still got them online. I'm sure there's on some. Fanatics. Like, Fanatics is yeah, selling Fanatics everything. has a lot. That's where I got mine. G's got one. It's got the, I think he got off a new era because I thought it, I think it popped up on my Instagram ads. It's the one that has the trophy on the front. It's yeah, tan. the white one. Oh, the tan it's one? It's like or? a tan or white. It's yeah. like an off white. Yeah. It's really light colored. And I'm like, all right, I need to return my one that just says World Series and get that one instead because I like the one that, that one looks oh, really yeah, clean. Oh, yeah. No, I didn't know this came out. Like, so maybe three days after I saw him and I'm like, Wait, what the fuck? Because, you know, I mean, obviously they did come out with them, but I didn't know they had already released them. And so I couldn't find my size. I'm a seven and seven eighths. I was about to ask, what is the size of the hat? Seven and seven eighths. And like, seriously, I for like maybe a week and a half, like I could not find well, yeah, it. Yeah, because it got to scrounge up enough material to make it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It takes a bit, man. You big headed bitch. No. Um, <laughs> I'm a seven and three quarters now, so I'm right there below you. Yeah. I've not well, been that for a while. Really? Yeah, I got that fat head. I was seven and a half for a bit and I it, just, it just head, grew. Baby. Well, it's because of the hair, really. The hair yeah. is what's making it like, you know. Just... I keep my, my hair short and I've still got this gigantic cranium. I don't understand it. Do you think we have large heads because of our uh, mini awards? Smarts. <laughs> our illustrious awards that we've won <laughs> we, our heads get larger every t- literally they do our heads get bigger every time we win an award hey, and we uh, have to get bigger hats every single if, time if uh, R.A.P. is still in the podcast did y'all's heads get bigger or what like, yeah I they feel won. like they had to have yeah they got bigger heads heads now. got bigger but the penis has stayed the same size whop, whop, whop. so uh I've got this uh I got this plan you know how Ernie does uh Ernie those, no, he does the rap uh, Crazy Bars I Heard. Yeah. So I want to take that concept and I want to put basically like lyrics to songs that shape me. And I'm going to pick the most obscure bullshit that's one word. Okay. 
So like there's one band, uh, it's a it's a hardcore band out of out of Texas, Kublai Khan, Texas, and they have a breakdown, and literally the guy just says "bitch," and I want to start with that. Okay, that's a lyric that shaped me. You're gonna play the song, or you're gonna? Yeah, so I was thinking I would just do like what Ernie does. I'm gonna piggyback off his idea. I think it's a great idea. And I'm gonna a, stand yeah, there, phenomenal. and I'm gonna say, uh, just you know, <laughs> lyrics of so- lyrics of songs that shaped me, and then it's gonna cut to that video, and it's just gonna say that one line, and it's gonna, that's gonna be it. And I want to do a series of those. You can do what's new, Pussycat, <laughs> and just where it says pussy. <laughs> what? So just one one word. word. I want to try to find one oh, word in person. a song. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You should have all of those words end up saying something at the very end, like "Help! I'm being held against my will" or something like that. Someone's got to crack the code. That's actually pretty. <laughs> that's that's pretty fucking good. That. That's a that's big brain Chad worth right there. That explains why your head's fucking huge. Yeah, Got it. it's getting bigger and getting these ideas. So World Series, we didn't talk about it last week. I feel like we should talk about it a little bit this episode because we just we just haven't. But our sports guy's back. You're oh, back. Hi. You weren't on the last episode when we had J Boy. Hello. So welcome back, man. It's me. Hmm. I'm not gonna do the whole thing. I'm just gonna. I'm just nope, the music nope. to do the whole fucking thing. Sports. And now, action sports with Javier. Take it away, Javier. <clears throat> I don't have anything prepared. Oh, hey, the, Why Texas, you Rangers, no. the Texas Rangers are World Series champions. I, yeah, I think that's what all you had to have prepared. You're really. a World Series champion winning champion world of the world. Uh, mm-hmm. Texas Rangers won the World Series uh, by defeating the Arizona Diamondbacks um, four games to one in a nice game five. They won every away game. Throughout the series, yeah, eleven away games. They won all right. eleven away games uh, that they played. It's crazy, pretty, stat. pretty incredible. Cool thing is that of course they had the uh, first two Ever. series were sweeps. You know, the first one we had, uh, we were actually in um, Arizona whenever we were watching. Uh-huh. Uh, the, the, I think it was the wild card, mm-hmm. and then it was the uh, the divisional. I, I just want to take a moment and, and, and say. All the posts that I saw, people just saying how like, I wish my my dad was around to see this. Still, like I wish you know, um, so and so was able to see this. This is a once in a lifetime thing. This is an amazing you know feat. Um, you know, I saw you know our one of our buddy uh, Kevin Casillas said you know I'm thankful yep. that I had life saving surgery that allowed me this chance to mm-hmm. see the range. Because I mean he's. Probably one of the biggest Rangers fans that I've I've ever met. For sure. Yeah, he's cracked open. That man, like, I mean, I think living through the heartbreak of 2010 and 2011, I mean, it made it more yeah. special, like a lot a lot more special. But also, you know, like you said, there were a lot of people that were like, me and my dad, you know, he, he took me to Arlington Stadium. He took me to the ballpark. Um, you know, he went here for, uh, he was here for the two series we went to that we lost. Um, and he's, he's not here now, but I'm glad I was able to experience this with my kid. You saw a lot of that. Yeah. Um, and it's really cool to see. Um, I, I will. The, 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 the big news also, they were saying that it was the, the lowest, the least watched World Series. Um, Wait, what, really? Yeah. And they're saying it's because of, I guess, access to the World Series. Like being able to, because you have, it well, seems like these days you have to have this streaming service or this right. it was on service Fox, or whatever. Though, like yeah. you, you could watch the World Series it was on Fox but people I think the thing is they you didn't have your big names or maybe it was like, the road to the series yeah it thing. wasn't the Angels it wasn't the Yankees yeah it wasn't the Red Sox it wasn't like the big big teams yeah like a lot of those like 100 win teams Dodgers. were out yeah, Dodgers suck ass. Yeah. Like, they did terrible. Like, yeah, Lance, know, you hear that? I don't know what kind of fan a Dodger fan is, but they sound like a terrible, terrible person, Lance. Facts. I'm kidding. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Yeah. Uh, yeah, what do you think? Do you think this was a one-off, or do you think that we have got a phenomenal team? We have a great team. Uh, I know we're probably going to lose Jordan Montgomery because he's going to be upwards of like $200 million. Um, but I mean, there are going to be some players that are going to be leaving. But I think if we keep the core group together, did you see who we're on, who we've got? We're, we're on the short list. For? I know Otani. They the, the big talk about Otani coming over here, but then they also said like today or yesterday that he has really like the Braves have piqued his interest. Like he said that the city does not matter. I don't care. He didn't care if he plays for like any smaller city with a good good club. He just wants a good club that has a chance because he's wasting his opportunity. Oh yeah, he's wasting his opportunity with the Angels, and so is Mike Trout. Like it's seriously kind of what the Mavericks did with Dirk. 
you know, there was so much like wasted years with those two players. I just, I, I understand the, the need for him to leave. Coming, coming in from the chat, streaming is not counted in the Nielsen ratings. Oh, really? Interesting. Oh. That would make sense then. And uh, she's also, uh, Gladys is a Dodgers fan. All right. Well, that was fun. Oh. Where's the where's the block here? I'm hey, sorry. Uh, can she return the hat? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no. I'm no. kidding. We want all walks alive, w- even if you're wrong. I do want a Dodger dog, though. I would love to try a Dodger dog. Or a danger dog that they have in L.A. Danger dog? Yeah, it's like the street vendors. Like, I thought, Wasn't there a show called Danger Dog? Wasn't that like I a think, cartoon? Yes. I think you're talking about <laughs> Danger Danger Dan. Danger oh. Dan. Danger, oh, okay. Or like a danger dog from Danger Dan. <laughs> <laughs> like Danger Dan's dog. I want Otani real bad. I, that would be insane if we got Otani. That is like... The thing is, is he's he's just like a double threat. Like he He's, he's, he's going to help. damn good pitcher. Yeah. He's a damn good hitter. I Known mean, for his double fisting. I don't know if that's true. Oh, he's on a lot of Reebok commercials, so bat and baseball, you know, it's fine. And Gladys, Anyways, Gladys said she'll let me know about getting a danger dog or a, 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 a dirty dog. Dodgers fans were rooting for the Rangers. Yeah, and but you know what, man? Look, I tell you what, the Dodgers were screwed in 2017. That was the year the Astros won with the trash can gate. Yeah, yeah. So. It was 2017? It was 2017. Yeah. God, that yeah. seems like it was just a couple of years ago. And I remember that series. It was just like... Did you did you see uh, Mattress Mac's face after he lost all that money, though? I'm glad. Oh, he Fuck was Mattress Mac. Fuck he Mattress Mac. Furious. I hate that son of a bitch. Man. I don't care what all good he does for the community. He's a piece of shit. I mean, he bets so much. Yeah. That can't be good, right? Like, but I want to know, I know how much time. money he actually made off that bet because... I think they said $100 million in uh, promotional right. like TV coverage of like his stores for them to go over there. Shit. That's bonkers. The incentive was great, yeah. too, because if they won, then everybody didn't have to pay for their mattresses. Like, if if the, the Astros won the World Series whenever they were in, none of them would have to pay for... Like, their payments would end. No way. Yeah, that's that was the whole gist. He put down like ten million dollars, betting or more, and uh, if the so if those the who had won, you're talking about those who had mattresses, like or making payments on a mattress. Yeah. Wow. So essentially, he's using his bet to pay for people's mattresses. Well, Is he's still going to get money in the back end. Well, yeah, obviously. Yeah. <clears throat> but no, that guy's a piece of shit. Man. What a what a sweet dude. <laughs> he's like that. Fucking, <laughs> what a sweetheart. He's like that fucking Joel Osteen. He's a piece of shit too. Well, I mean. So Mattress Mac might not let you sleep on his, you know, in a store if the city's flooding, but he will pay off your mattress, so <laughs> and let you float away on it. <laughs> um, but no, I think it was a great series. Um, I was, I was very stitious. I was very superstitious. Was it just super, like just stitious or like superstitious? A bit super. Like, give me the level of stitious you were at. I, I was pretty superstitious about it as well. Okay. So, like, game one that Friday. You know, me and Tammy were watching at the house. We were up three nothing, and then um, we went out to dinner. And then they were losing. It was like three five three. Which game? Uh, one. Game one. Yeah. And of course, we got home, and um, uh, Seager hits yeah the home run yeah, and then um, Bombi hits the walk off, and we win yeah. And so from then on, I was like. I can't go anywhere. So I watched a little bit of that, right? I was just listening to it and what, whatnot. But I went when we went to uh, I went, went over to Tara's uh, house for oh, her yeah, Halloween party. party, right? <gasps> and they lost. And they lost. I was like, because that was the first game in, the, in the series that I watched. The I, I actually watched it. and I was like, can't same, watch it. Same. So the last, the, the you know, game four, they win, right? Yeah. I started it. I watched a little bit of it. I was like, okay, we're up. Cool. Turn it off. Put a movie on. Gonna watch the movie. Jesse's like, hey, we should, you know, see how the Rangers doing. I kid you not. We pull it up at the last score, the last point score. Yeah, just to be safe. And 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 it happens. And then everybody's happy. I was like, cool. I caught. I actually got to see the Rangers win the World Series. Right. I watched the whole game. But I was I was paranoid because it seems like any time I watch any game. I, I, I want, you know put on the stars or whatever we, we lose so so I I watched the first game at Rusty Nickel and I'm with you I feel like the first game see if I'm the only person that feels this way the first game felt like game seven game yeah, one yeah. felt like game seven oh, the yeah. win and the vibes from that win were insane and then games two three and four were good 
but they weren't great. Like game one set the tone, seriously set yeah. the tone. And uh, yeah, I, I was a little superstitious because the only game that I watched with my parents was the one we lost. And I'm like, I'm, you just don't turn it on the TV. And it was a huge loss. <laughs> it was a massively... <laughs> yeah. now, it was ugly. Are y'all the, are y'all at the same level as uh, Robert De Niro's character in Silver Lining Playbook? No. 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 Where you got to sit in a certain spot. Now, I did not move. Like, game seven yeah. of the Astro series, I didn't move. Like, as soon as, like, uh, Simeon started cracking the bat, um, I think I was feeling a little better. But it's kind of like whenever I talked to Lance. Lance was like, the Rangers kept on running, the, running up the score. And I'm like, he's like, more. And I'm like... We need to win by 20 to where um, that's the only time I'm going to be okay with like, I can say we're winning. We're going to win. Relax. Relax. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. The same went for this world series. Well, so they had that. Uh, what was it? The, uh, which game was it where we were, we were down and then all of a sudden it was it that, that first, first game. game, one, right? yeah, game, game one, yeah. 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 So we're down and I'm like, okay, whatever. And then I, I, I didn't watch any more of that. And then I checked the score, you know, the final score. And I'm yeah. like, holy shit. Wow. We just ran it up. I also have nothing against the Diamondbacks. You know what I mean? No, like, it was we nice to win. I, look, but like the the series with the Astros was so much more satisfying. I, I hate to say it. I mean, obviously winning a World Series uh, is satisfying. Know, it, it, but beating the Astros was. was almost more satisfying or it was more satisfying than beating the Diamondbacks in yeah. the final. A hundred percent. Like we, if if all it took was us getting the Astros out and then not doing it, like we could have stopped. That would have been a win. Like, cool. Hell yeah. Hand it over, hand over the championship over to uh, Arizona. Be like, we just wanted to get the Astros out and not let them have the chance. I'd been, I'd been okay with that. Shit. Same. I'm, I'm, I mean, like I, I didn't want to say I knew we could beat the Diamondbacks. I mean, there were there, they got there for a reason, you know, <clears throat> they have the rookie of the year. I was scared. But, you know, I kind of – I didn't want to say that we had a great yeah, time Yeah, I mean, I remember watching that documentary about Rookie of the Year. you got to be scared. Right, yeah, right. That dude had a hell of an arm. Yeah, right. You know, just had to happen. What was he uh, had a uh, Tommy John sur- surgery and then – no. <laughs> Kid breaks his arm. That's Kid what, breaks his yeah. arm and then he's like, funky butt loving. No, it was a great movie. It was a great movie. Funky butt um, loving. So, yeah, I don't think Mattress Mac is a bad guy. I just like it I, – I find it funny. I just hate the team. This the Houston the chat, Astros – yeah, sorry, on the group chat. The Houston Astros fan base, like, they're delusional and they're pricks. Like, they... Why? 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 Not all of them are delusional and pricks. Yeah. We're just going to generalize them at this yeah, point. Yeah, we're not... Stop generalizing. No, it's fine. I'm going to generalize all See, of that's them. That's all you do. <laughs> yes, they're terrible people, That's not all true. Of them. I think it's pretty fucked up that they follow a team that cheated. That's it. If the but Rangers it's still a championship, if the Rangers were you know caught cheating multiple times, I'd be upset. I would be. I I don't think I'd be a Rangers fan anymore. No, no, because that's not a satisfaction that I want to like be behind if we were to win again. Look, every team has a way they like. There are teams that like have a leg up on other teams. Would you be um, less upset if um, half the team yelled racial slurs or if they cheated? Oh fuck! For sure, the slurs. Yeah, the slurs. The slurs are. But would you continue to watch them? Is the question. That's that's the thing. Like, I mean, I'd be upset they yelled racial slurs, but I'd probably. Oh no, I'm the opposite. I'm sorry. No, I'd I'd rather them yell the slurs I would, than cheat. I'd I'm probably, sorry. I'd probably still watch. I, I think I must have understood the question. Just say what you want to say. Just don't cheat. Don't yeah. be a. Ru- I'm sorry. What? <laughs> <laughs> are you saying it's okay to hurl racial? No, slurs? it's never okay. It's not okay. I'm just saying if you had to do one or the other, just do that. Look, the baseball teams are so different. They're so diverse. At least I know that you're a terrible person if you're a racial slur. It's and like you if go, you were talking shit about a white guy with us. We don't really get offended. Yeah, but white people are the worst. But then you go uh, in. Have you met Mexicans? So, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? That's okay when you have a team full of everything. The you pro- know? The, 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 the problem really comes down to it is... Uh, are you a Mexican? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> At least I know you're a terrible person if you're... If, if you're, you're a Mexican? If you're, if you're, Damn, if what you're the fuck, if you're man? yelling Dude, that was coming. If you're yelling racial slurs, but the problem is is like if you're cheating like like the Stros did with with you know pounding the the trash can or whatever, you're just you're just you're just going to disappoint me. Pound the trash can sounds like they're pounding their mother. I would I think it's worse to be Sounds like they're pounding that ass, man. Okay. I think That's it's worse I to be like uh, <laughs> pound my ass, man. <laughs> 
That's not Wait, what. what? <laughs> I think it's worse to be disappointed. I think right? we're done with yeah. baseball now. All right. I think we need to move. Hey, on. but we won. Look, we look right now in Dallas sports. Dallas Fort Worth sports. Things are going so good right now um, because the Mavericks are fucking killing. I think they have the second best record in the league. Yeah, they're murdering the people. Dallas Stars are doing amazing right now. Our XFL we, team was the the champion. The champion they won last year. This last year, Panther um, City Lacrosse was in the top. Like in the, we were like in the right in the playoffs, yeah, we right? Were, yeah, and, and then uh, Panthers City Cross is about to start back up. Yeah, uh, December seventeenth, uh, I believe so. I oh, the Rattlers, the, the Rattlers, Rattlers won. won. Yeah, bro, I I hadn't even thought of this until you brought it up. Holy shit, we are fucking killing it DFW right now. Is doing work. The, Holy the, the, the shit, Fort Worth, the Fort Worth Dallas connection is just coming together. We're mine. And then the Wings did really well too. They did, man. They were. I think if we would have made it to the finals, we would have won. I really do. They did. They. They played such a dominant Las Vegas Aces squad. So, I mean, we are, uh, we're we kind of a big deal here we in are. DFW. I mean, I'm, here. I'm, here. I'm, here. I'm here for it. We're a, we're a top five market. So, I mean, more players need to come over here. And there were people who were like, oh, they bought, they bought the World Series. Motherfucker. Every team, like, spent a lot of money. We just, like, did it better than you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, on the group chat, the Astros did some prejudice stuff towards you, Darvish, in the 2017 uh, during the World Series. Yeah, see, that's why I don't like them. Okay. So that also, that and they cheated. Yeah. So we have friends that live in Houston, so yeah, we do. love to them, but you know. You're in the wrong city. You're in the wrong city. Come to Fort Worth. Got good food down there. Oh, they yeah, have the, I want to go back Viet, to Houston. They had the, the Viet, Viet Cajun uh, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. We go to uh, Crawfish Noodles. Dude, they just opened another... Um, or they're opening right now. Nickel City. Fern just went down there. Yeah. Our, our yeah. dude Fern over at this Nickel City, he went down to help open. He's going to manage, I guess, the Houston one. And I want to go down primarily to go see that Nickel City, but also just as an excuse to get back down to Houston because the food and the bars and everything down there, it's such a, it's a good weekend. What a great away. segue. Like, honestly, what a great segue. So are we talking about Nickels? No, we're talking about, you know, about cities? all the food and stuff like that. <laughs> okay. So I just want to I want to ask you. Okay, please do. So three fun hole in the wall restaurants in Fort Worth, Texas. Have you been? Okay. Okay. Uh, so the first one, Hooker's Grill. I need to. I need to check it out because I heard they have a really good chicken fried steak. I'm looking at their food. They, uh, so it's in stockyards. They've got uh, burgers, all Hooker's that good stuff. Grill. I don't know where that is. It's on Mule Alley, ain't it? Uh, yeah. Let's see. I'm trying to see where where. Tim, it's, where is it? It doesn't. Uh, if you're gonna bring it up, we gotta know where it is. It's in the. It's just. In the, it's just in the stockyard. It's just in the stockyard. You keep talking. I'll I'm find a good it. fan of chicken fried steak, and also by the way, uh, two thirteen West Exchange. Okay, West Exchange. Have Which, y'all had Cowboy Chicken's uh, Thanksgiving sandwich? Now that we're talking about food. No, I haven't yet. It's really good. Uh, what, is, what is it? Cowboy Chicken Thanksgiving Cowboy Sandwich. Cowboy Chicken Thanksgiving Sandwich. No. But I did have it when the World Series uh, when the Rangers won. I did eat one. All right, uh, no Natata. Oh. oh, I need to because Tammy's like friend Donatana. works there. Never been. Tammy's friend uh, is a chef over there. Uh, so uh, just on Hooker's Grill real quick, their uh, highlights. Hmm. So food highlights. They have a vegan bean burger, Indian taco, and they have shakes. Um, that's their that's their uh, their highlights there. Um, Nonatata. I've never been to Nonatata. I've heard good things. I've it's just great. never been there. Uh, truffle dish, uh, focaccia, truffle butter. Yeah. I love truffle butter. Caesar salad. Uh, I mean, all of it's okay. All of it sounds good. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the last one, and I know we've all been here, the cocoa shrimp. Ooh, oh yeah, that's not a hole in the wall. Yeah, would, or you can see it all. Dude, I, cocoa shrimp is nice. Yeah. It is nice, but I don't. I don't think it's hole, like I'm okay. going to a little surf shop. I don't think hole in the wall means it's going to be d- dingy or whatever. We're not talking about dive bars. I'm talking about like your. Uh, just maybe off the beaten path, not everybody's going to know about kind of restaurant, right? Well, that sounds like a more catchy title to the what you were just looking at. Well, I'm not the I wasn't author. It of should this, have been so. called Three Restaurants That's Off the Beaten Path, but you don't usually go, but it's pretty close. And you should go check them out. That's the title. That's that a great. Been. That's actually a great title. <laughs> we just got a really good question on the group chat. Okay, what's y'all's favorite food dish for Thanksgiving, and who makes it? Ooh, I feel like we should save all Thanksgiving questions. I know, for next I week. know, but I just no. We should. We, uh, Corey's a long time listener. Let's uh, yeah. let's Corey answer Corey. Deserve it is what I'm yeah, trying to Corey say. Corey does That's deserve rude. it. Hey Corey, Cor- Corey, you. Corey deserves everything. Yeah, he does. Uh, uh, such a man. sweet guy. Yeah, I know. Anyways, He's the best um, favorite. Got a beautiful family. I don't know if I have a, a Thanksgiving. Oh, a Thanksgiving dish, not restaurant. Then not restaurant. Yeah, not restaurant. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> hands down. My mom's broccoli and cheese rice. Easy. That's your the Thanksgiving. Easy. Yes, that and her stuffing. I was about to say the stuffing because she does with the sausage and everything. We're talking the, about Chad's uh, mom's food. 
Um, I'm gonna go say on. This. My, I'm mouth's say getting, my mouth's getting all wet. Mm. I'm gonna say the stuffing is my favorite. Okay. Now, my if, we're, are if we're talking about Chad's mom's food, right? Um, my family, what I truly love is, um, it, it's a very difficult dish to prepare. But Ham and cheese sandwich. No, 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 no. <laughs> the uh, cranberry sauce that comes in a can. <laughs> okay, even better. Uh, even better. So my mom has actually made homemade cranberry sauce, and I was like, I don't want that. I want the canned stuff. She had the can too, um, but that's it's n- pure nostalgia. It's not good. Okay, then uh, think of something that they actually have no, to no, make. No. So my my favorite things all uh, it, it typically is going to be your um, either mashed potatoes. So Jesse makes a mashed potato mashed potatoes with uh, this brown butter gravy mm. stuff. That's Absolutely delicious. She made that last year. It was so good. Um, or um, a good green bean casserole that's got the extra extra crispy onion stuff on the top. Dude, I didn't have green bean casserole until I started dating a white woman. I don't fuck with it. It's a white. You don't fuck a, with it. No, I, I have a problem. So it's funny when you grow up, kind of, you know, with not a lot of money growing up, a poor. You have all of these canned foods, mm-hmm. and you realize that these canned vegetables. I always hated green beans growing up. Oh no no! And so then I, I had fresh green beans. I'm like, oh my god, these are amazing. I don't like I, a lot of canned vegetables. No, I like green bean casserole made with fresh green beans. I don't know if I've even had that. That I think I might be able to get behind. Yeah, I don't li- like the flavor of canned green. Lightly beans. Lightly sautéed, so they get kind of they're, they're just lightly cooked, and then uh, still have a little bit of crisp. Then you dump your your cream and mushroom soup and do all that, and then go ahead and bake it. Load. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were. I was waiting for. You're dump your load in there. <laughs> yeah, I'm dude, sorry. Do you, I'm do so you see sorry. how many times we caught things that you would have said if yeah. you were here last and week? You know what? And, I, and after you all said it, I said it right after, of and I'm did. like, oh, yeah. they know me. <laughs> no. that, that's that's my thing, and then. And then always the after Thanksgiving sandwich. That's uh, yeah. yeah. The next yeah. day sandwich is the best. Well, you know, we should actually all make one for the episode make a, after Thanksgiving. Make a stuffing? No, yeah, make we a, should make all just kind of like make a sandwich and eat it on air. Oh, oh, yeah. That following Tuesday, each other's sandwich. Ooh, Tim, you the good. So time. I make you one. You Javier makes me one. I'm glad you, you can't make see the table down here. Or something. I don't know. <laughs> so hard. Yeah. Oh my god, it's raising. <laughs> <laughs> what about um, you, Javier? Stuffing on both sides. Uh Tammy's stepdad makes a, an amazing stuffing. Okay. And my mom makes an amazing stuffing. So explain what cuz everyone's stuffing is so different, right? You got the cranberry ones, you got the super bready ones, you got the meaty sausage ones. Like what makes them so great? The flavor um he spends like maybe an hour making it. And uh, maybe more. I'm, I don't know. He gets up like at three in the morning. Yeah, I feel like an hour is not enough for stuff. It's not enough. I don't know. I don't. I don't you don't know cooking. Uh, he, gets up <laughs> like a, he spends at least fifteen minutes making the most delicious stuffing. I don't from know the how box. long he does. He, maybe more. He wakes <laughs> up. He wakes up. Okay, so last year I have he no woke concept up. of time. <laughs> a minute. It took him a minute. <laughs> box stuffing is delicious too. If you do it right, it can be. Yeah. So I'm gonna be real. Like, I, I your mom's stuffing is probably my favorite homemade stuffing. Yeah. And I and I say that you know with all respect to my family and everything else, you're, that one's my favorite. However, I'm a sucker for some Stouffer's. Man, it's so good. Make that on the. I will eat that just right out of a pan. Me too. Same. And call Same. it a day. You know, I need to I throw need to some think. sausage in that. You got yourself a wonderful meal. I never think of that as like a meal or a side any other time of the year except for now. Occasionally, Jesse will throw it in there because she yeah. knows I love it. Oh, she knows I so love smart. it. So smart. I need to buy it and surprise myself with it or something. You <laughs> know what I mean? <laughs> oh, oh my! Where did this come from? Oh, where did this come from? You gotta, you gotta hide, hide the box in like a. So you gotta, you gotta buy it uh, in the summertime, right? Right. right. Or no, buy it in the wintertime because it's holiday esque, yeah, right? Yeah. Hide it in a coat after you put it up. <laughs> no, or no, hide no. it in your swim trucks. Your swim trucks. This is Oh, it's time to make stuff This again. is what Chad does. This is what Chad does. He makes it, gets in his car, crashes into a wall, goes to the hospital, and then he forgets everything, goes back home, and they're like, This was on the stove. And he's like, Stove top, my face. I think you should like it's kind of like icing <laughs> Lost yourself. In that story, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's like icing yourself. You got to hide it, hide it somewhere. So get it in the winter time. Hide it in your swim trunks. That way, summer comes around. You're getting ready to go to the pool. You open up your drawer. You pull out that swim trunk, and you're like, you pull out your drawers. What's this? What's this box in here? And you're like, oh my! Even better. And if we could start this as like a TikTok trend, we need to put an ice in a stove top and call it stove ice. And then you put it in a place that you remember at some point, and then you ice yourself, and then make yourself some stuffing. 
in the summer at some point. That's yeah. a whole thing. <laughs> it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. Um, on the group chat, uh, my buddy makes a turkey pot pie the next day. Drives me nuts how good it is. I didn't think about making Ooh. a turkey pot pie. My mom has done that before. She my like, mouth is watering. It sounds great, but I still want just a sandwich with the moist maker. Yeah. <laughs> also on the group chat, uh, a new meaning for stuffing your shorts. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Dude, but not- Stouffer's is the best. Yes, adding sausage and jalapeno in the group chat. I'm getting uh, really hungry. I'm getting that's so... Like, that's what? Dude, what? Take, this is just crazy. crazy. You know would be awesome is some stuffing with some sausage and some of the like the Dane's... Uh, candied jalapenos. Yes. Jesus. Oh my God. So that speak, is a meal. Speaking of uh, spicy things, right? So one of the things I did this, this past weekend is. was uh, Lance and I got together uh, right. sexually and then created hot spicy. sauce. Spicy. Uh, no, so we made some. We made some, uh, we made some. We made some hot sauce. Uh, we made uh, a. We were we were shooting for a holiday types hot sauce, right? So cranberry. Uh, cranberry. It is. It's seriously. Cran- yeah. Seriously. It's good. Uh, cranberry. If you um, like shitty hot sauce. Oh yeah, if you no, like it's shitty hot sauce. actually really good. Uh, it's so good. Cranberries <laughs> with a, it had it's cinnamon so and nutmeg and, and a little bit of ginger in there, and it had about twenty five habaneros it's and some yeah yeah. I had him stick his his pink little just penis enough, in there. which is all I um, got. Pink little penis. You're the only sin I'm in, baby. Yeah, so I had uh, so we did cinnamon brown sh- or cinnamon a little bit of brown sugar was in there, a little uh, nutmeg, a little ginger, um, <laughs> nut. Yeah, I knew you were about to a say it. Nut, He's looking at the same time. A Jesus little nutmeg Christ. from the little ginger. We don't even hang out that much anymore, and we still know each other way too well. This is kind of getting ridiculous. But it, it turned out fucking fantastic, and so uh, we're we're I was really excited about that. Um, I can't wait to use some of that on my Thanksgiving stuff. So. I think that could be one of those things that you literally just pour over cream cheese and get crackers and dip it because uh, yeah. it's like a good spice and flavor and it, it, it had a little creaminess to it mm-hmm. and it would just like because that's going to be hard to eat like lots of because it is spicy yeah like you can't have like a spoonful or something oh, like no that. you don't want a spoonful right so but no. if you put over some of that cream cheese that'd be fucking awesome man so the past two salsas Lance has made like the the habanero and the tomatillo the, the hatch tomatillo I just call them green and red Yes, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, they're great, man. They're just good with like I put it on my like Chinese food or my pizza. It's yeah. so delicious. Eggs, eggs really good. Yeah. With so eggs. tonight oh uh, for dinner, Jesse made like one of those sheet pan meals with uh, we had some uh, apple and chicken sausage, uh, sweet potatoes, and uh, Brussels sprouts. Mm. That's why the house smelled like Brussels sprouts when you walk in there. Uh, but that salsa complemented all, or that hot sauce mm. complemented all that together. So. Yeah, I'm I'm here for that. I want to try that on everything this Thanksgiving. That's what I'm going to be doing, and I'm going to be shitting my pants later because it's going to be so hot and tear my stomach up. But I, I'm okay with that. Man, I can't wait. Yeah, Thanksgiving is uh, next Thursday, so man, is I'm, is I'm that excited. your favorite holiday? It is. You know, uh, I don't know if I, I I've, I've brought it up before, but one year for my birthday, um, and I remember it because uh, the Broncos were playing, and uh, I asked my mom. She's like, "What do you want for your birthday?" And I'm like, "I want a Thanksgiving dinner." And she made me a Thanksgiving dinner. You know, that's not, easy, that's not an easy feat it's either. It's not. She had to find a fucking turkey. Um, <laughs> yeah. And um, like made the mashed potatoes stuffing the way I like it. Where does one find a turkey? I mean, I guess it's, I mean, your birthday's not it's that far, not that from, far yeah. from Thanksgiving. They've got them. Yeah. 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 I mean, but it's can, still kind of hard after I never, I never go to the store and look. So she could have just got a chicken, though, and just like tricked you. Oh, no. It was a big motherfucker. Damn. Damn. That's a steroid laden chicken. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is GMO. Um, 100%. <laughs> no, I've never gone to the store and just like looked after, you know, in, in the middle of summer, like for turkeys. Right. I mean, I'm sure they're there. Yeah. Just not as as plentiful. I'm gonna have to, I just realized I'm going to have to get two. I, I gotta. We're going to do Thanksgiving in our place this this year. We got so I'm going to get well. one for Thanksgiving with the family, and then I'll need a second one for Friendsgiving again, which we'll have to figure out when we're going to do that. I got three I got to go to. Damn. Well, no, you're not <laughs> making them, though. No, thank God. I'm talking about making oh, them. Yeah. Okay. The question is, is if we do Friendsgiving, is Roy going to come up here and he's going to bring the corn in a can? Hey, look, he has not brought the corn in years. I know, but I think that he should bring that back. Who are we talking about, Roy? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, mean, I had the corn last year, but I brought corn nuggets. Remember? Yeah. 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 All right. <laughs> it was a hit. I mean, of course they're delicious, but, you know, don't just go to a store. Make mm. make some homemade corn nuggets. Yeah, Actually, you know what? Just bring the corn nuggets. <laughs> 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 they were fire. <laughs> Let's be real. So the question during the holidays, number one. Are you going to be doing a dry January? My birthday's in January. Uh, so, so obviously no. not. 
No. Uh, right. Are you going to do? Are you going to do one? His birthday's in January. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm also going to Mexico in January. Yeah. So and obviously one. someone got abducted because the phone's going off. Um. Oh. Oh no. Anyways. Oh my. So this one woman found out how much, basically, how much alcohol you'd have to consume to gain one pound of fat. Oh. It probably isn't that much. Uh, so in order to gain one pound of fat, the average person needs to consume about 3,500 calories. Right. All right. So so that's like the number of drinks in which to gain one pound of fat. So 37.5 flutes of Prosecco, uh, 50 shots of tequila rose, okay. 15.5 passion fruit martinis. These are some random ass drinks. Like just hit me with something that we actually drink. Uh, 15 pints of Heineken. Okay. 66 Damn. shots of Sambuca. 64 you, single vodka and Diet Cokes. Are you saying, is this each drink or is it total? You'd have to consume. So it not all, no, 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 no. <laughs> You're like, hell yeah, I'm not graining anyway. No, 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 no. Each one of these items, he's telling us the I'm number. you the number that okay. goes What it would take to, to gain one Can pound. you start over? <laughs> <laughs> Say the ones we know. All right, so your fan, I mean, so vodka so like and diet. Beers, so vodka, whiskeys. 64 single Vodka and Diet Cokes. 64. That's that's actually, that's not bad. 15 pints of Heineken. Right. Uh, 17.5 pints of Guinness. Yeah. 26 medium glasses of white wine. I can tell you right now, because I'm real good with the maths, it's also 35 of generally almost any uh, seltzers, because they're all like 100, right? Right, so yeah, yeah. 35. Uh, 15 espresso martinis. 36. 15? Yeah, 15 of them. 36 so glasses good. of champagne. 25 bottles of Corona. That's okay. for you. Why, <laughs> why okay. for me? 34, know, single, why. <laughs> 34 single pink gin and lemonades. So, with all that said... How for, many cousins for you, Tim? Uh, <laughs> two. <laughs> and I'll gain a pound. Uh, Damn. With all that being said, though, that... You can consume. So those that are all are you know, you're worried about. Uh, I gotta watch out what I'm what I'm gonna drink because of the holidays. Look, you can drink a shit ton. You're not gonna gain that much weight. Yeah. So live a little. Yeah, I guarantee you live a little. I mean, what is it about 3,500 calories in a box of Stouffer's <laughs> compared to 35 seltzers? Just drink your seltzers. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, whichever. <laughs> yeah. Skip that. Skip that box of stuffing. Skip <laughs> that entire box of stuffing, which is probably four actual, you know, uh, how many servings, serving? but one Javier serving. I kind of you ain't lying. <laughs> I kind of. I'm gonna. I'm gonna look that up. I and mean, see, remember uh, we had the conversation of where I Mac eat a whole. I eat a whole ramen noodle. Oh with yeah. Two bags of ramen noodles and a sandwich. And a sandwich. That's a meal. That's a Mexican meal. I'm looking at stovetop real quick. Just I want to see the uh, the calorie count on that because what do you think has got the most calories in, in Thanksgiving meals? Um, probably the stuffing, right? Yes, because I think or the desserts. Oh, but well, but yeah, like those pumpkin are, pies. That's different though. That's a separate like. Okay, so entity. we're talking food. Not, food. not okay. we're talking about the foods. I think so because it's carbs. It's all straight carbs and butter. Right. You know, there's butter and carbs for those that don't know or have watched me. Uh, there's butter and carbs. There's carbs and butter. Oh, carbs and butter. <laughs> there's butter and carbs. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, did you see they're making a new Mean Girls? Yeah, I like, did see uh, that. It's like it's it's off of the musical, but it's like you know. Yeah. Yeah. What do you mm. think? All right, so yeah. a six ounce yeah. box makes around six servings. Okay. <laughs> or one for me. <laughs> And, and then how many calories? If it's a twelve ounce, it's uh, it's twelve servings, and that's what I'm trying to find is uh, because you know the box isn't going to tell you exactly. It's going to sell. It's going to tell you what's in the box. Like you ate dry bread, but if you had it served with like the butter and everything like that, let me say this real quick because then we have a friendsgiving thing. This is a friendsgiving conversation. Okay, <clears throat> but this is my challenge to Christy. So get stovetop. Yeah, make those into like a. Uh, cupcake oh yeah things yeah you know bowls or whatever the fuck it is yeah and then like don't tell me like mashed potato ice mashed potato ice but but like you know put some like a little bit of corn a little bit of um mac and cheese a little bit of turkey you got to put a little cranberry sauce like a little in the cranberry sauce. So yeah 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 no that's gonna go on top it's gonna oh, be a, okay oh like, like a, little, a glaze yeah like a glaze okay and then like cover it with mashed potatoes on top and then put a little bit of uh cranberry like icing <laughs> all right good news everybody yeah. If you got a uh, 12 serving Stouffer's. Yeah. 
It's actually only 1,200 calories if you eat it all by yourself. Okay. That's not bad. That's not too bad. Two boxes. So you could eat one box and still have plenty left over to drink your seltzers. Right. Man, you could have a... You could have a... If you are single on and by yourself, just kind of flying solo for Thanksgiving, what all do you need? You can get your box of Stouffer's. Yeah. Chicken flavored stuffing. Eat a whole box of that. And get enough seltzers in your system to get completely shit canned and forget about your life. Please don't. Yeah, because that'd be another twenty three seltzers. Yeah, dude. Please don't do that. Don't do that. I mean, you can just get shit housed and you're full. And, you throw and, up before you ever were able to drink twenty three seltzers. Watch the you have ma- a box of stuffers. You do that. Stuffers. You do that in the morning. Watch the Macy's Day Parade. You could have yourself a have a good, wonderful Thanksgiving. Look, if you're by yourself on Thanksgiving, just go to the strip club. They have a buffet. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> At least you're gonna have titties in your face, and you're gonna have like good Thanksgiving meal. <clears throat> Didn't you have like a a uh, um? Wasn't there a porn story that you were you were gonna say? Oh yeah. So I don't know. Well, I don't know. Tim's got no, 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 no. Yeah. moving on from strip clubs. Uh, so the fuck. How, how did we get into this conversation? We were talking about the teacher on OnlyFans who oh, got caught that's right. fired. That's right. Yeah, so uh, if you didn't, if, you, if you've been living on a rock, there was a teacher in like, what, Missouri or whatever, somewhere yeah. up that way that uh, she got fired because she had an OnlyFans. And she has come out and said like she's literally made more money than she'd ever think that she could have ever made in her entire life. She's paid off all of her debt. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm talking. I'm mil- sure her parents' debt, everyone's debt. That yes, she's- millions yeah. within like the first like six weeks. Not millions. Well, no, 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 no. Millions, dude. You don't know how much these people make. On I know Only bad. Fans. I know bad baby. <clears throat> whenever she turned eighteen, and because it came out what she was making, I think that first year she made like eighteen million dollars on OnlyFans. This teacher was all over the news that entire week. Oh no! I'm Everyone sure. knew about her, yeah. so surely. She made at least a million that first second month. Second OnlyFans teacher, the second one, made sixty five thousand in two weeks. Hey, look, I'm pro I'm pro The OnlyFans. former teacher who left education makes nearly one million on OnlyFans. I think it's I, I'm pro this because look, this is what we live in a time where This is America. I thought this was America. No, I think I'm well, I don't see why like um keep your kids away from the internet. Like, don't let them look for your... Well, they're saying it wasn't even the kids. Like, uh, with the second teacher, that somebody just stumbled across it and then gave it over to the... uh, I mean, if you're you're attractive and you're on OnlyFans and there's tons of people on OnlyFans, someone's going to find you. But But I think... And they're from a small town, too. But I think they didn't show her face. No, she didn't. She didn't. She didn't show her face at all. It was, like, waist down. Or... uh, Then what did they... Does she have tattoos or something? No. But but the thing is, like, look... (laughs) If you want them to not do that, then pay them better. Well, yeah. And so pay that, them better. That pay was her whole better. thing. She's like, I did this because at the the rate that she was in debt at for school, it would have taken her probably close to like 40 years at the salary that she made plus cost of living and all that to pay off her debt. I'm sorry. It's not realistic for you to pay teachers as much money as OnlyFans <laughs> people no. make. If you can make that much money doing OnlyFans, then do what you want to do. Yeah. You play off the fucking perversion of the fucking dads. Because, like, on the group chat, it was probably some kid's dad. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. 100%. Like, I mean, this this is, like, ridiculous. Well, and there was a second teacher at the same school. Yeah. Who uh, she just got busted, but she after this all went down, she immediately deleted her, like her OnlyFans and everything. She made sixty two thousand dollars within like yeah, the first she, few weeks. She yeah. said it was more important to be a teacher, right? Yeah, or something like that. And the other girl was just like, "Screw it." I mean, teacher would be cool, but she leaned in hard. Yeah. And it, and like I think you know, I saw her on a, a video, like an interview with Adam Twenty Two and Lena the Plug. Uh, who who are these people? The, the, the No Jumper Podcast. You know, they're uh, they're big on Instagram. I don't know either and one. They're mm-hmm. big in the porn community, but it's a um, husband and wife duo. You know, they interview porn stars. Wait, so these two are these two are married. They're married. Okay, and they interview they, porn they interview stars. Porn stars, and then they act with them. And they had her on uh, their show, and you know. And then did, acted but, with him. Yeah. yeah. And I think, you know, it, it, honestly, it was a good jump off point because now I'm sure she's making more money when they see her on there. And again, it's playing to the perversion of, of men. Like, come on. Like men. Oh, women too, maybe. And women too. Yeah. But men ain't shit. You know, we, we'll, we'll pay for it. Mm, well, you know, whatever. Do whatever floats your boat. But I, I don't think it's, 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 it's wrong for kind of people to like 
thumb their nose at them. Right? Is it the right saying? Uh, I don't think, I think so. it's just jealousy. It is. And I think, you know. Oh, this person's making a lot more money. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Are you going to pay my bills? Are you going to yeah. pay my mortgage? Like, I'm able to pay my car. Look, I'm thinking I'm going to start selling my... F- I've been talking about this, but I think I'm just going to have to pull the trigger and start selling feet pics. Why not? I mean, look. This is this is what I say. P P P. I ought to do what uh, I ought to do what uh, uh, Robin did and just you know post picture of your feet on the internet. That, and, that, and, I don't think she wanted people to know about that. You know, I don't think she actually did that, bro. No. Calmate. Uh, so no jumper. They've got Wait. like three million followers. Yeah. I've never even heard of this. Oh before. yeah, I follow him for all my you know. Leonard, his wife. You know. No, Robin and I talked about we were gonna we were gonna make our own feet uh, pics only fans together. Nice. And just like sure, nice. sure feet and stuff. I, I I think that why not? Hey Tim, nice cock. Thank nice you. Nice feet. Nice feet. Nice feet. Nice feet. Nice foot. Yeah, yeah. No. The problem um, is if fame gets to my head, or then, your feet, or my feet. Yeah, and then what? our hats are kind of running out of sizes. Yeah. Then what? what? Do we what? Whenever we get big headed, these oh, heads just yeah. keep with the hats. The thing we said earlier. Oh yeah, but no, they they have this uh, no jumper and uh, Adam twenty two and Lena the plug. They have a um, a reality show now where um, he's trying to find the next person to sleep with his wife, like you know, like on a on a professional shoot. So that's their thing too. So it's it's a big thing. Elena yeah. the plugs his Lena, wife. Lena the plugs his wife. Okay. All right, I want to I want to kind of derail for just a second. Please, please do so. At this point, yeah, cuz I'm going down this rabbit hole and I don't want to. And I want to ask Jesus. I want to ask I want to ask you guys how you feel about this. And I really want to ask those of uh, uh of the people in the chat Keep that chatting, have, I got to get another drink. I want to ask the people in the chat that have kids what they what how they feel about this, okay? No. I'm so, kidding. there's a restaurant in North Georgia that is charging adults for being bad parents. Which okay. means what exactly? So basically what it comes down to is if you bring your kid in there to the restaurant and your child acts a fool and you can't keep them under control because it's supposedly a pretty nice restaurant. Right. They are putting um, a additional charge, kind of like a gratuity, for having to deal and for having to deal with your kid. Okay. So a Yelp review from September 2nd claims that the owner was so rude to my grandkids that he made a three-year-old cry. Uh, I I think I think that we would be okay with yeah. that, and I think most parents would be okay with that too. If your kid is going bonkers, um, you either need to leave or you need to control your kid. I mean, that's just kind of the way it is. Now, you know, if that doesn't happen all the time and it's a one-off, okay, what would you going to do? You're probably just going to leave, right? You're probably going to go, well, let me see if I can get this to go and leave. So an- another review said from July 2nd uh, by a father of two children claims they were given a bad look as soon as the family entered the restaurant, and the manager later told his wife that she could not rock their baby who is not crying in a fancy restaurant. Mm. Well, okay, that's too far, right? Going yeah. from the chat, though, from multiple parents at this point, oh, I'm completely good with that, 100% good with that. The kid that acts up usually makes a huge mess. Teach your kids to behave or don't take them. Agreed with all that. Now, if they're being just like assholes to people that bring kids, I mean, I guess it does kind of depend on the that, restaurant. That's kind of shitty, right? Yeah. Um, so they, they literally, so there's a surcharge and it, of, of dollar, it just says dollar signs. Dollar for, hairs. It's 50, it, it's $50. I, I saw it's, the, it's, okay, 50 bucks. $50. Yeah. So, and it literally says for adults unable to parent. Yeah. I think it's like, look, Tim Love did, did the same thing. Like, he well, he just, no, where, he, he just made it where you weren't allowed to bring your kid. And like, you had to no, wear like a jacket, yeah. no phone. But I mean, the same, same Have thing. Have y'all been there yet? No. I don't own a I jacket. Either. I, I found my jacket recently. Did the you only find your jacket, vest also? Uh, no, just the jacket. But now I realize that that's probably the jacket I need to put the Stouffer's in because I haven't seen the jacket in two years. That's the jacket. How long does Stouffer's <laughs> last? Is the question. I mean, come on, it's a dried good yeah, product. It's, it's probably I, fine. I mean, it's probably got a pretty long shelf life. Yeah, yeah. I, I got rid of that that whole suit. Which one? The one we had to go through Joseph A. Bank and get. Oh yeah, so that's yeah. the one I have still. Yeah, yeah. That's the one I pulled out, and you know it still fits in everything. It looked like nice. garbage on me. Yeah, they. I mean, they were not great no. suits, and I still, I still think about the guy that works there, and I still get upset about it. Do you? Yeah, yeah fuck I, that guy. I would, I would like nowadays. I don't know why. I just didn't say anything. I was just hey, well, so you, caught off guard. If, you know, I beat that motherfucker's ass. To at this quote point. him, if you just eat a salad, right? <laughs> Son of a bitch, man. Dude, that guy was that guy was a dick. He was the worst of people. Um, like, <laughs> on the group chat, I was gonna say. Did it have Stovers in it? <laughs> <laughs> That's too bad. Um, so I'm okay with um, 
with with a, a surcharge for being a bad parent. And in fact, I think you should charge uh, just anybody for being just a shitty person at a restaurant. So yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I could tell treat this. your uh, treat your people treat your uh, service industry people right. I don't know if I could tell the story, but uh, I, I think you can. Tammy was uh, telling me whenever she was younger, whenever her and her brother would act up somewhere, like if they were the grocery store, uh, her mom would be like, "Nope, leave the bag like the cart full of groceries and just walk out the door." Like, nope, I'm not going to have that. Y'all aren't going to cause a ruckus in here. I'm not going to control y'all. That's, That's great. Damn. I mean. I love it. I got beat. Like, my parents, my well, I mean, dad beat the shit out of me. He didn't beat the shit well, out of me. Well, what's scary? Well, okay, what's scary? Getting beat, getting the shit beat out of you or your mom just abandoning you in a store? Because I've lost mommy in the store whenever oh, I was a kid. Yeah, totally. And, I, you know, you freak the fuck out. Right. Um, I, I think that might be scarier. I saw Tammy from a distance the other day, by the way. Saw her through the glass. <laughs> trying to make this sound creepier than what it really fuck, is. Man? <laughs> You're like peering in her uh, salon. I went to the pantry on Magnolia. I've never been there before with my parents the other day because they had it? like, oh, bro, they had these. Dude, they had these Thanksgiving dumplings. They were like one was turkey and one was like a mashed potato. One was like a stuffing. I forgot. You would have loved this, dude. These were the best. And I was eating them and I didn't realize. I didn't even look at what they were. I just said, I want the the dumpling sampler. And they were all like Thanksgiving related and they were bomb. But that was just the appetizer. I actually had the, um, what was it? It was the soup pho. dumplings. Yeah, those were soup yeah, dumplings. Okay. But the the pho there, they had like this um, shit. Oh, a uh, uh, beef rib or something? Pho? Something? No, short rib. Short rib. Pho. Oh, I love short ribs. So good, man. But yeah, on the way back, I was walking to the car and I was like, that's Tammy's shop. I was pointing out to my parents and uh, she was standing there in the window talking to somebody and I was like, Oh, <laughs> I was seeing, like I'm, I'm pointing at her, like there she is, get her. <laughs> so I just kind of hid behind a tree. God damn it! That's, <laughs> that's funny. Uh, you say that because Jesse got a text message from her, and she's like, "There's this weird dude that's just pointing and, Some and running." Weird guy with glasses and a hat. <laughs> but uh, uh, I want to go there in Teddy Wong's. Oh yeah, I want to go to Teddy Wong's as oh, well. I thought you said Teddy and Teddy won't. I was like, "What?" I want to go there, but Teddy won't. That's what I heard. Teddy would didn't want to go. Like, Teddy's like, his own. Who's man. Teddy? But where's the, what, what? What is Teddy Wong's? It's uh the new. Uh, it's like a. a it's a dumpling soup, spot, right? Soup, oh, is that the, is that the place yeah. that was in Lee's Walk? Yes. Yes. On Rosedale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a soup dumpling spot yeah, yeah. that uh, just opened up. I'm sure if Angie were listening, she would tell us. Yeah, there's actually Angie. a couple of restaurants that have popped up that I have not been to, been so damn busy, and that's one of them that's popped up. Um, there's another one that. Uh, has the the guy with the glasses? He's like a famous Jared from Subway. <laughs> <laughs> Jared, Jared from Subway. He's a he's a famous chef, and he's like on like all those food shows. Oh, and uh, like Lamargo, or uh, I need to go to Lamargo. I need to go to a uh, F one F one. That's it. Steakins. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, I want to check that place out. Yeah, me too. Gordon Ramsay. No, no, no. <laughs> what Jared no. from Subway? <laughs> Idiot. What all right. else did you have, Timothy? Uh, I mean, I've got just like a. Just, you got a game for us? Any one other okay. thing that you want to do? I got uh, I got one more thing. All right. One more thing. I've heard uh, Pantry was better than Teddy Wong's. I don't know. I have to go to Teddy Wong's to figure it out. But the Pantry on Magnolia is absolutely, it really is bomb. And the cool thing about that place is you can go, and they were so packed because of the pho, um, you can go next door to Grandma's and just order drinks at Grandma's Ooh, yeah. and eat there. Yeah, yeah. And they'll bring you the food. So we just went and had a couple of drinks at Grandma's, and because of the long wait, it's like 30 minutes, and they just brought us our food later, which is kind of cool. All right, so I want to ask a question. Does the name Jacob Chansley ring a bell to you? It sounds like Wamsley, and I remember that guy. Mm. No, not Chansley does not sound. What about a guy uh, that served two years in prison for his role on the January 6th attack on Congress? I mean, unless it was that main guy that was in all the pictures and videos and stuff. What about okay. that guy? Yeah, the guy that was in all the pictures and oh, the videos yeah, and yeah. stuff. The shaman. The, the the shaman. Yeah, so he wants to run for Congress. Jesus Christ. God damn it, man. What's wrong with these people? Yeah, he wants to run for Congress. He's uh, So Jacob Chansley um, or the QAnon shaman. That's what, yeah, yeah, that Became an infamous symbol on January 6th attack on Congress by the way he was dressed. Um, he apologized and was recently released from prison after serving more than two years. Now he wants to run for Congress. I thought if you had a felony. Right? I, that's what I was thinking. It's like I didn't even realize. Wasn't he in, in jail? Yeah, for two <coughs> years. Over prison? two years. He served his nickel. So he rose to American. I said nickel. Infamy. Remember infamy. 
Yeah. You remember you, what that word means, yeah. Chad? It means not famous in a good way. It <laughs> means famous in a bad way. Yeah, which Chad would like to go down in infamy. <laughs> it's like the Kennedy assassination. Uh, Q, QAnon shaman uh, became the face of the January 6, 2021 siege of the Capitol. Um, so he is considering running for a U.S. Congress seat in the 2024 election representing his home state of Arizona. I am so thankful it's not Texas. Yeah. And I was originally concerned it was going to be Florida. Well, it seems more like a Florida dude. And I don't think he, he represents that state because I love Arizona. Arizona is such a baller ass state. I love it there. And this, uh, yeah, so he's going to run uh, basically on an independent type uh, docket. So he's not going to he's not going to make anything. No, he's, no. he's just doing it for attention. You got it, buddy. Also, on the same... We, they talked about you on the Funky Panther. You did it. You made it. Congratulations. The, you might need a bigger hat now. On the same, uh, on the same note... <laughs> he's got to get a bigger buffalo. Yeah, he he's definitely going to need a bigger buffalo. <laughs> on the same note, so, um, so you know, uh, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is running for president. Okay. And he was going to run, so son of Robert Kennedy, who was killed, uh, nephew of JFK. Okay. I remember he was killed in Los Angeles. Yeah, so kind of a family known for like their deaths. The yeah, politicians <laughs> dying, right? So <laughs> Teddy Kennedy killed the person. Uh, RFK Jr. has asked for uh, Secret Service detail because he's running for president. Every pres or every presidential candidate has gotten a Secret Service detail. In fact, I believe yeah, you can request it, and I believe Obama got one. It's either Obama or uh, yeah, I think it was Obama got one five hundred days prior to the election. Well, he had I to believe it. Yeah, he's like the right, first. Right, right. So R so RFK's already had. So this this guy's already had um, two randos show up. One guy dressed as a as a uh, uh, representing law enforcement trying to gain access to his himself, get gain access what to him. The yeah. Hell? So he's had all this stuff. His family's known for for getting you know murdered right assassinated and uh the do Biden we, do we know why though like it's just like people like you know what that seems like a good family for murder or is there like a reason Dude, there's like, so many what? conspiracies behind it there really are because i didn't know that that people just want to go after these people yeah which by the way there's a new podcast called who killed kennedy on uh all stream uh, there's Blackboards. also a new uh, documentary too yeah but but the, the that's podcast, going that's about the autopsy yeah yeah oh were they still his brain Yes. But um, the podcast is going to release info about how there were others involved yeah. and how like the CIA might have been in, involved. Mm. So it's it's got uh, Rob Reiner and um, Soledad O'Brien doing the podcast. It's pretty interesting. Mm. Yeah. So uh, he's getting denied his um, Secret Service. Why is that? They, there's, they don't know. He, he, uh, the Biden administration has denied it, even though he's had two attacks on himself. His theory... You know, it's and it's conspiracy theories at this point. But his theory is, you know, the one way to get rid of a camp, you know, someone who's campaigning is to drain their their funds and by forcing him because he's an independent now because he's he got to pay for it himself. Yeah, because he's originally going on his he was originally going to go for the Democratic ticket mm. and which, you know, not going to get the nominee for none it. None of these nominees. I think there needs there absolutely needs to be yeah. a new Democratic nominee. So, but, you know, the conspiracy behind it all, though, is that they're with the whole family is that they, they just want the, the Kennedys were trying to do too much, too much good or whatever. And they just need to get rid of them. Hmm. And so, uh, now he's going through the same thing, which is insane. Do you think that's going to happen to us? Because we're constantly trying to do good. I think, um, between if, the three of us, we're just constantly, I mean, we stay good, but we don't do good, but we stay, good. we stay good and do good. I mean, we sometimes. did, we did participate. We stay good, but in, we do good sometimes. I don't know. We do. That bad. should be another slogan. Stay good and do good things sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> that should just be on the back of the shirt. Just do good things sometimes. Do good things sometimes, and the front says "stay good." Yeah, stay good? Question mark. <laughs> do good, and then the shrug, I don't know. the shrug emoji. Yeah. <laughs> this is how we come up with merch, guys. I know. Yeah, it's on just, air, just like what idiots. happens. Yeah, so uh, that's the only other other bit. I found, I just found that kind of odd that you know we've got someone who's trying to run for president. It's almost like. They're, you know, I'm not saying they're scared that it's going to cause issues, but yeah, <clears throat> technically you don't. You're not supposed to get serv secret service detail until like you're like a nominee, uh, uh, or a, whenever you're one of the core nominees. Right. That's when you get your service uh, ser secret yeah. service detail. And from and, what I've seen on the show, The West Wing. Yeah, now he's going for he was uh, he was going. Well, for, they're turning down all the halls. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's oh, a good West show, Wing. man. It's a really. It's good all show. about halls, though, isn't it? Yeah, the whole show yeah. is just halls. They're in halls the whole time. I've only watched like a little bit and they were just in a the hall. They're always the in the time. same place. I just figured like it was a show about mazes and they just never got out. <laughs> I believe the White House <laughs> is a, just a giant maze. Uh, see, I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. 
All right, that's all I got. Is that it? Yeah. Is it? So, I think it's that's a, all. That's all I have. Yeah. yeah, I think we're about we're a little over the hour. Cool, cool. Let me well, check. Let me check Twitter real quick and see if there's anything fun. So again, catch us next week, Tuesday, the week of Thanksgiving. We're gonna have the TFTI podcast on our show. Finally, we have had uh, an ex member of the pod here a granted, long time ago. Granted, I'm gonna just throw this out there. He was still with TFTI at the time. So right. we've so, had TFTI on. Technically, but we have not had Jesus and Lyrical on. So really excited about having those guys on. And, you know. Yeah, we're going to make Javier and Lyrical rap battle. We may or may not God have bloodshed. We're really going to find out what's going to happen. We don't know. But look forward to having them in the studio. If you already do so, please make sure you follow us on all things social media. You can find all of our things at thefunkybanther.com. And please call us. Someone other than Corey, call or text us. 817-677-0408. Leave us some love. Leave us some hate. We don't really give a shit. Just leave us something. Just don't uh, leave us late for dinner. That doesn't apply. Didn't, didn't work, sorry. No. Corey said he's going to buy that shirt. Oh, hell yeah. Do good sometimes. Don't forget to Question go mark. out there and vote for your favorite musicians on the, what was it, the Fort Worth Weekly? Yeah, Fort Worth Weekly. And then also, we got the Music Awards Fort coming Worth up. Magazine has the best of coming up, which means we could get a part of that one again. So, you know, if you see it, vote for us. Do your thing. Look, just let us have that one publication at this point. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll rule that one. Y'all can rule the rest. Right. We'll rule the roost. Anything else you want to mention? Uh, I just want uh, y'all to stay good and uh, wish me a happy birthday if you see me out. Or don't. You know what I mean? I so stay good hey, and uh, do good things sometimes. If you everybody. wanna if you wanna send uh send me money, you can find me on uh OnlyFans at uh <laughs> Satan's Anus. Um No, that's it. That's it. That's all I got. All right, everybody. Stay good and do good things sometimes. I'm Chad. I'm Javier. And I'm Tim. And we are the Funky Panther!